Hello, one and all. Hello, one and all. Welcome to see through glass. Well, I don't know if I can scare you. I don't know what you're used to. But... What's that for? It's a Brabus number place, man. Gives it an extra 40 break. is basically to announce that me and Paul are going on the Mob Ball Rally this year. No! No! Today we are experiencing Storm Imadrin. <laughs> oh my lord. So I think we need wet. I think we definitely need wet. Yeah, is there okay. a storm or a snow uh, is, setting? Is there, is there like, oh my god, it, there is a massive fucking storm. Here. Yeah. So excuse my French. <laughs> no, don't worry. So it's my 550 brake horsepower Jag versus his 10 and a half brake horsepower Grom. Right, are you ready? Three, seven. Morning. Let's go. Let's All right, Trey, go. Oh, no, Lenny, you're not chatting around. Morning, sorry, morning. I literally. <gasps> I just saw them. Shit. They, I don't think they saw me. I think Paul was looking, but I don't think they saw me. Can you open this? Oh my god! I think what was just brilliant there is his kids just run over, spotted you. I'm going, see through glass, see through glass. <laughs> like, no idea who I am. Like, what's your name? And then another kid's just come past and just gone, Example. No idea who you are. Definitely split crowds. <laughs> And we haven't got long because I forgot to charge my GoPro and it's almost out of battery. <laughs> so we have arrived and we are at Phil Island's office with his new Audi R8 V10 Plus. Now this could massively backfire. And I think I'm gonna go and see if Seb wants to join. <laughs> Daylight. Oh my god, we're above the clouds! Oh my god, this is the best view ever! <laughs> Firstly, I think I could be too big. I feel like my head is definitely outside of the car. <laughs> Stores it twice on the way to the line. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm driving up the Goodwood Hill time in a crazy, crazy tractor with loads of torque. Right. Woo, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's, right. let's do this, let's do this. We're cracking on. I'm game for anything. Oh my god, I can't get it. Get up, climb up, climb up, be safe. So this is us um, pulled over. So we've all been stopped, every single one of us. And as we keep going, now the police over there. Oh, we got away with it in the phantom see through glass. Three, two. Oh, no, let's move, let's move on the road. <laughs> okay, I have to 
try and remember how to ride a bicycle. And who's your favourite YouTuber? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, I'm not uh, seen through glass. Oh. There you go. Say that my life has been ruined because after today even the birth of my firstborn child will be disappointing compared to the excitement that I'm experiencing right now. Okay so we are now in this absolutely mental <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I'm having a great time before the farmer comes. As if I wasn't in love with America enough already, I turn up at this event and the very first car I see, a freaking Challenge Stradale. <laughs> Today, I'm about to jump out of a plane. I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> it's like flying I want each of you to guess how many horsepower this car has. Just you. And we better know what horsepower is. <laughs> Twenty horses. Twenty horsepower. Okay. There he is. I found him. <laughs> 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 Surprise! <laughs> Woo! This is my best friend Rob. He is not involved with cars, he doesn't know cars, he's never been in a supercar. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Let me introduce my new car, an Abarth 695 Biposto Record Edition. Ross Bokes just won. I'm pretty upset. Um, Your Uber has arrived! Oh <laughs> That's it, you got the... Wow! Got the wow! wow. <laughs> Welcome to episode one of the My Next Car series. The series that is going to be dedicated to finding a replacement for my Jaguar F-Type. What a ridiculous year 2016 turned out to be when I was making this video looking back through my old footage. I couldn't believe some of the stuff that I did, i.e. drive a Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale. But for me, the personal highlight for 2016, and I think my entire life, was that drive up the volcano for sunrise in the McLarens. It just ended up being the most incredible occasion, and I'm so pleased with how that video turned out, and the fact that I was able to share a moment like that with you guys on Scene Through Glass, that it just inspires me when I watch it back to go forth and do more trips, create more special moments, and try and capture it all perfectly for you guys. So if that was your highlight for 2016 as well on Scene Through Glass, make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up. But if it wasn't, I wanna know what was your highlight of 2016 on STG. So comment below, let me know your favorite collaboration, your favorite trip, your favorite car, whatever it might be, your personal Scene Through Glass highlight. This video, I couldn't cram in enough because as I say, as I reviewed all the footage, I was like, oh my God, there's so much I want to include in a highlights reel. Vlog Angeles, for example, itself would have been its own 40 minute video. Um, so just tiny little peaks and, and highlights there from that trip, but there's so much more which happened there and throughout the year, which just blows my mind. I am so thankful and grateful for you guys subscribing, but watching, commenting, and liking various videos throughout the year. Not only does it mean that I have a reason to keep going on and creating these videos, apart from my own selfishness, um, but it's just inspiring. It makes me happy to be able to make these videos for you guys, and I know that 2017 is going to be bigger and better for Seen Through Glass. Some of the stuff that is already planned is 
mind-blowing, but obviously the year is going to kickstart with the new flagship car, the F-Type replacement. I know the series is dragging on a bit now, I know the procedure's going on, but we are so close. I've got Tony at Gravelwood working his arse off over Christmas because we have really kind of narrowed it down in our heads to probably two potentially three cars depending on budgets. There's a couple more test drives to come on the channel. Ferrari F430 and a Lotus Evora 400, so you'll hear our thoughts on those cars. But obviously we've been working like complete nutcases behind the scenes, trying to find a car, trying to make decisions. And as I say, Tony is actively searching for two cars in particular within our budget with a kind of third backup. So more to come on that soon. The final two test drives will be coming this weekend. And then the sort of decision making process will be going out the following week. Oh, it's all so full on, but very exciting. I hope you guys have enjoyed 2016 as much as I have. Please make sure you subscribe, stay tuned, go back, look through some of your favorite videos from the year, and I will catch up with you guys in 2017.